What is going on everybody? It is me, yo boy, Perucho, back with another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. Today's Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video, we are going to be doing the freaking siblings bond category uh, team, which... Ah, yeah, 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 freaking course, I am not prepared for Guys, the most important part of my freaking videos is you guys. How are you guys? I hope all of you are doing fan freaking tastic dude in this nice wonderful day um at least i hope it's a nice wonderful day for you guys over there but hey man if, if it's not going good keep that chin up keep keep going dude keep on freaking going but guys yes today we are tackling down the simply small category dude uh one thing i gotta say for sure and in, in this um extreme uh extreme and the super battle road stage is just oh yeah yeah man i <laughs> these guys right here lr go gohan and goten dude they they let me down quite 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 a bit, dude. Like uh, I wasn't. I mean, I wasn't expecting like you know, you know, for to, for them to do like perform like crazy and such. But dude, it's like, damn, dude. I remember when I first got them as an LR, and I thought they were like one of the goats, dude. And then now that I like I use them and such, it's just, man, it, they, they kind of they kind of fell down, dude. Like uh, <laughs> I desperately wanted them too, because I don't think I I got them at release because they were like a global first and something like that, but. Yeah, uh, uh, safe to say that um, they're not good as once as they once before. And then, hey man, hopefully they're easy. I can come out soon, right? But uh, I will say I got my ass uh, handed to me a couple of times in this freaking stage. And dude, I mean this Gohan right here. Though we just easy ate him uh, this past weekend with you know doing the doing the live stream with you guys. I uh, had fun doing the uh, doing the uh, being in that live stream with my my good old uh, boys Jordan. Freaking Gabriel and Xenos, they were just chilling in there talking about stuff, but let me go on with talking about the freaking, you know, just the units of, of what we brought in, which, uh, first up is the freaking uh, Super Saiyan Gohan Teen and Super Saiyan Goten Kid, I don't know why they have those in quotations, but I guess just to specify what they are, even though they're two units in one, but anyways, yeah, dudes, uh, it's just, bro, it, <laughs> let's read it, but, but their leader skill, even though you have two, the most important one, obviously, is just their siblings bond uh, category, which is key plus four, and then attack plus 170%, HP and defense plus 150%, which I wish it was 170% across the board, which I'm pretty sure it will be once, you know, they get their easy A. So, they came out in, in freaking 2019, dude. It's about, it's been almost three years now since they released, but hey, man. Uh, only one way to find out if they're going to release or not. Dude, thank God freaking Whis dodge that attack, dude. The super attack. Because I think Whis, even though I think he's type advantage here, because I think the Goku's a fizz, yep, and he's an STR. He probably would have tanked that pretty well, or not pretty well, but... Take a bit of damage, like probably 200,000 or something like that, or 100,000, but... Anyways, proceeding on, the freaking, the LR dude, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage to enemy in freaking their super attack, and then the ultra super attack is basically the same thing, except the damage is mega colossal damage to enemy, and then passive skill, attack and defense plus 58%, launch an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, key plus one, and attack and defense plus 10% with each attack form key up to 5 and attack and defense up to 100% and it disables rampage which doesn't really matter here because you know there's no bro legion here which I don't think they have that skill and then their active skills massively raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy and can be activated when HP is 59% or less when facing and facing only one enemy for starting from the third turn from the start of battle which I don't think I I, I don't think I activate I think they did give me the chance to activate but I'm like eh, I'll probably skip it unless it was one of those failed runs where I do I got freaking clapped and all whatnot, but let's keep going on, dude. Let's read on the freaking Gohan right here, the Team Gohan, the goat. That's one of the greatest goats of all time, dude. He he was released almost two years ago, dude. 2020. He's still he's still performing goddamn well in this freaking day and age. But anyways, his super attack stacks attack and defense greatly. So it's like uh, I'm pretty sure it's 50% uh, uh, stacking. Yep, 50% uh, stack attack and defense and cost immense damage to enemy, and then his passive skill is attack and defense plus 140%, key plus 1 at the start of each turn up to 3, and then guard all attacks, plus an additional attack plus 40% when this, within the same turn when guard is activated. He has an active skill, and then he has like his transformation, but I'm not going to go over that because we did not um, transform in this freaking stage. Dude, and then up next is Ultimate Gohan. <laughs> Even though the previous one also transfers to Ultimate Gohan, but like I said, we, we didn't use his transformation at all, but reading it off, um, oh, I almost read like the freaking pre easy one, the pre easy way, but the easy way, uh, his super attack greatly raises defense for one turn, greatly raises attack, oh, stacks, greatly stacks attack, I did not know that, okay, and then causes immense damage to enemy, and then his passive skill, attack and defense plus 158%, super class allies, defense plus 50%, and then trust as will, category, super class allies, key plus 2, and attack plus 30%, high, high chance to guard all attacks, 
guarded attacks and launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack for four turns when guarded is active. I did okay. So that's when he was performing a lot of super attacks, which um some of my attempts I'm like, dude, why is he why is he performing so much super attack? I don't think I gave him like freaking an equipment or either to like launch an additional super attack, but now I freaking know from this EZA. So continuing off, we got freaking the angels, which I of course brought Reese and models because they have like the potentials to dodge. I think Reese has a great chance to dodge. While this lady, Vados, has a high chance. Yeah, Reese has a great chance, and this girl has... Let me see, let me see if I can finally, real quick, yep, high chance. But reading them off, uh, her super attack causes supreme damage to enemy, lowers attack, and seals uh, uh, seals super attack, which is pretty good, if you ask me. And then, passive skill, attack and defense, plus 60%, HP, uh, oh my god. Attack and defense, plus 60%, and I don't know why I read high chance HP, but high chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attack, and then... She buffs a lot of categories, which is Universe 6, Rumble God, Siblings Bond, and Bond of Master and Disciple. Category allies attack and defense plus 20% randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres when there's an, a Universe 6 category ally subsequently attacking in the same turn, which, as you can tell, there is no other Universe 6 uh, category ally on the freaking team uh, aside from her, right? <laughs> and then we're going off to the Whis, dude. A uh, Whis super attack key costs supreme damage to enemy and then lowers attack and defense and seal super attack, which only. He has one. He has another effect uh, aside from models, which he only has two effects. Well, this guy has three, which it doesn't really. Oh wait, <gasps> we did activate the freaking active skill. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm a dirty liar that I said I didn't use that. But anyways, continuing off. Do the Weez. His passive skill: attack and defense plus uh, att attack and defense plus 100%. Great chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack, and then plus an additional defense plus 50% within the same turn with each attack evaded, which is pretty darn good. If you ask me, once he evaded like three times. And then all allies attack plus 50% and recovers 10% HP at the end of the turn when there is an ally whose name includes Beerus. Beerus excluded. <laughs> attack in the same turn, which we do not have a Beerus on this turn. I activate some items here too. I don't. I think I activate like two or three items, right guys? Well, thankfully we got the guard from here, so we have a potential chance of a launching. A, I think, which I think we do, dude. Like I'm saying, when I was doing these runs, dude, I'm like, dude, why is this guy like launching like so many additional super attacks? Because like, you see right here, dude. What the hell? Because let me go back to him. I think it's a high chance, right? Yeah, it's a high chance to launch an additional uh, super attack, but last but not least, dude, we have the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta that goes to evolution, which I don't think we do go evolution in this freaking, you know, in this run. But reading him off, um, his EZA, his super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense. And then his passive skill attack plus 150% and defense plus 100% launches, launches two additional attacks each, which has a rare chance of becoming a super attack, which I think a rare chance is like 10% or no, 15%. Oh, interesting. I thought it was 10 and then defense plus 20% with each attack performed up to 100%. Wow. And then evolve when conditions are met, which 40% chance to evolve starting for the fourth turn of, of, of the start of battle, which, like I said, we didn't use at all the transformation this uh, freaking one. Dude, I'm so Wait, what item did we use, guys? I really don't recall why. I Because I, I think we, I'm pretty sure we used an item, right, guys, in the beginning of the freaking fight. I just don't know. I think probably like a Kid Icarus, maybe? Because I, I highly doubt it was a Ghost Usher, because, you know, Ghost Usher freaking cancels the the opponent's turn for that one turn but dude i probably could have like hmm i could have changed one oh because look man my rotation i wanted to have like good linking buddies each turn and then i was having regrets of having like weiss and um vados being in the same rotation but they link up pretty well i think they have like five links out of like the six links that um you know each uh unit has five or four one one of those one of those two numbers but they link up pretty darn well, dude, and, you know, they're not really bad of units to uh, link up. And then plus, um, since both of them seal super attack within a... Yeah, they seal super attack when they launch their super attack. So I'm like, alright, you know what? Let's do this. Let's launch a super attack to... What's I'm gonna call it? To each of the units that are possible. So we, we see, as you can see, both of them have a... Uh, dude, I think... Oh, I was gonna say, if I was in dodge, I think we were taking, like, a good chunk of damage. But anyways, yeah, if... I had them separated. It if I like had those two as a floater, it probably would have been a bit more difficult. Since, yeah, I don't, I don't know who I would have put in the freaking second rotation with these guys right here, the freaking Gohan and Goten, because we've previously I had the evolution, the LR evolution Super Saiyan, <laughs> the LR Super Saiyan Blue evolution Vegeta on my team, and that's actually where I got my butt, <laughs> my my freaking cheeks clapped by these freaking stage, and then I'm like, wow, dude, all right, these stage are no freaking joke today. They mean business, dude, if you're not, um, you know, building the right team and such, and you have, like, some old freaking units, dude. But I think this dope combo right here that we're about to launch is the killing blow that we're gonna do to freaking Piccolo and Gohan. Surprisingly, Gohan, because I thought he would have more HP to, like, Piccolo, but 
Turns out that's not the case, which I don't How much is ultimate? Oh, he's launching three mil attacks there, which I think he's going to probably do maybe four or maybe three. One of those numbers. Let's find out now. 4.6 mil, dude, which it was a lot of damage. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to do for me. Um, Nothing too crazy. Um, Well, I think it did took me a couple of tries to freaking beat this, but thankfully I was able to beat it. I, I, I seriously thought I was going to need freaking LR. Um, Tapey on Minosha to uh, be able to defeat this stage, but I'm like, no, you know what? It, it just takes uh, time and patience to do this and just building the right team, right? But yeah, that's it for this. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out, guys.